This video shows how to install and use Synthetic Data Kit locally in order to generate a Synthetic Dataset. Fine tuning a large language model is not easy. 99% of the time, the fine tuning of a model fails due to the underlying dataset. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. After working with various clients on various use cases where the major challenge was to obtain, extract, curate and then convert the PDF files, the text files and various other formats into a proper data set, I can say that this synthetic data kit is a fresh um, breath of air because not only it tries to simplify the process but it also addresses the problem in a modular way where it goes about it in four steps. First, it ingests the files, then it creates the fine tuning format, and then it curates it and then saves it. So we are going to install it locally and then I will show you in a step by step process how to go about this. So let's get started and I will be talking more about its architecture. I also want to thank Mass Compute for sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, you can find the link to the website in video's description plus. I am also going to give you a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. This is the VM I am going to use and this is the GPU NVIDIA RTX 6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. And GPU card is important because I am going to use a local model with the help of VLLM. If you don't know what VLLM is, it is a very fast inference engine. I have done heaps of videos on VLLM as how to install it, how to configure it. So please just uh, search my channel and get it installed if you don't know how to install it. Okay, so let's go back and get started. First, I am going to create a virtual environment with Conda. And now then git clone the repo and I will drop the link to it in video's description. That is done and now we need to install the synthetic data kit and the command is simple pip. You can also install it from source but this is okay. While it installs it, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGenPort. iGenPort lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge board across platforms like Discord, Slack and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Okay, so everything is installed and you can ignore these warnings for now. As we need to download the meta Meta's Llama model, for that we need to log into Hugging Face and make sure that you have this Hugging Face Hub installed which you can see already is. And these are the gated models so you might need to go to Hugging Face Hub and then just accept the terms and condition, grab your read token from HuggingFace.co which is a free token and then just type in or paste your Hugging Face token and then capital Y and you can see that I am now logged in. Once you are logged in, then the next step is to serve or download the model. I am just going to go with this 3 billion mod instruct model just to show you the demo. But in the real world, if you are creating a data set synthetically, I would highly encourage you to use model equal or greater than 70 billion. I know it's big and huge, but that is the lay of the land. If you want a quality data set on your huge amount of data, uh, please don't uh, use anything less than 70 billion. That, uh, that is my experience so far. And things might change in the future, which I believe will, but for now, that is what the reality is. Anyway, for the purpose of this demo, let me serve this model here, which is going to download it. It is now downloading the model first time. So we just have to wait for it. And it's a small model with just two shards. So VLLM has started and it is now serving that model on our local system. Just minimize this window and then open another terminal window where just um, maybe activate that environment again if you are using UV or whatever environment you are using. From here you can simply run this command synthetic data 
git help which is going to show you the help and this also confirms that everything is running fine if you also want to verify if your synthetic data kit is now able to see that model served by vllm simply run this command system dash check and you can see that it has um, successfully returned the result where it is showing that this is the endpoint where the model is being served and this is the model which is running at the moment so our synthetic data kit is ready our model is ready let's see how this tool works now now within the repo what you can do you can either go to the existing data directory and if you do ls here you will see that they have different directories with the file type name so we have different for pdf html document clean txt and all that stuff so for instance if i go into pdf you will see that it is empty but you can put in your pdf file here if you go to txt you can put your txt file here and this is very important whatever your file type is first you have to move it to this respective directory so make sure that you have placed it now let me put in one of my file here for the sample what i have done is i'm just going to go with this text file so this is test.txt which has some random text in it and after you have done it what you need to do you need to go to your config.yaml file where which is in the configs directory in the repo and if you're using a 70 billion model like llama 3.3 just go with it but if you have downloaded a separate model with vllm make sure that you specify it here in line number 25 as i have just done where i'm going to go with 3 billion model and this endpoint will remain the same and you see there are a lot of other things which you can change like output location input location maybe you are you know loading the data from elsewhere and this is um, where you can set some of the hyperparameters and stuff and some of the even question answer pair or chain of thought uh, pair which you can generate out of it anyway so but i'm just going to change my model here and then you can simply run the first step which is ingesting the file and the data has been ingested and it the new file has been placed in this output directory which is test.txt let me also quickly show you as we go about so this is data directory there should be uh, an output directory here this is the one and this is a test.txt so this is a file which it has been ingested and i think it also does some sort of pre-processing here next step we can simply go and then create a question answer pair you can see that the data set we, which we want to create is a qa type and you can also go with the chain of thought and once you run it it is going to okay so it says that it couldn't find the url what it means is that it was unable to access this 8000 if that happens it means that for some reason your vllm server has stopped all you need to do is to just restart your vllm okay so after even restarting vllm it was giving me some error so what i did uh, after restarting vllm i simply go went in and then specified this relative path to my config file and now it was able to do it properly so you have to do both steps restart vllm and then make sure to specify the path to this config.yaml where we have specified our new model and there you go so it, you can see that it has uh, done it it has created 38 question answer pair total and the results have been saved here which i will show you shortly and so data generated test qa let's go there this is a generated directory and these are the pairs so you see question answer question answer in a proper json format and that is normally a typical format of your data set and you can see that from there it has created this and just imagine if you use 70 billion the quality will be even higher but even this looks quite good to me okay so this is where we have created this qa1 let's do the chain of thought or cot one and for that command all you need to do is to replace that qa with cot or chain of thought let's wait for it it has completed successfully but you can see that it didn't generate any example and we can double check it too 
So I'll just dismiss this. You see, so there have been no, uh, so there could be two reasons. First, either the data is not compatible. Uh, we, we might need more data here. Or secondly, we might need to use some big reasoning model in order to do so, whereas I'm just using a 3 billion model. But the process will be the same. Another cool feature is that if you have a humongous amount of data which also need cleaning up or curation, where a separate LLM you could use or the same one in order to check and only put in the high quality one, um, the data I mean, for that you can simply use this curate command and then it is going to clean it and put it in your cleaned stuff which you can check out the data cleaned so go let's go to clean one and this is where you can find the clean one as how many it has cleaned it didn't really uh, i think it filtered zero so it had kept all of it because it thinks everything is good there so look this is mainly geared towards humongous data set, but I believe one of the good tools out there from Llama. There is no Olama integration at the moment, if you're wondering, only with VLLM. And I would highly suggest that you go with VLLM and with 70 billion model if you have your data set. Also towards the end, if you have PDF files, then make sure that you have some PDF parser installed, like <clears throat> I believe they use um, PDF miner. And we already have covered it on the channel for HTML. Make sure that you have beautiful soap installed. And for if you even if you can even parse YouTube video for that, you would need the <clears throat> YouTube transcript API uh, for docx and for pptx. You would need the re relevant packages. And I think it is already mentioned in their repo. Let me scroll down quickly before we, I let you go. I will show you. So let me go here so you see this is where at towards the end of the repo for pdf install this tool and for html this for yt this for talk accent for powerpoint this one still very early days of the project but looks very promising let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thank you